we access the scammer's computer to call off their files and to control over their phone system. I also found the CEO and we know the exact location they are at. Today we are gonna save victims and try to contact and confront the CEO. We are in control of this scam call center now. Let's start off with the call. Thank you for calling Facebook. How may I help you today? Oh, yes, yeah, sir. Uh, I'm having an issue with logging in my Facebook. It's saying invalid username or password. Credentials is wrong. Okay. These scammers pretend to be Facebook. When a victim Googles Facebook support, these scammers show up in the results. Just remember, Facebook does not even have a phone number. So, when, uh, from since how long you are facing this problem, sir? Well, about five minutes ago, I went on my phone and I went to go check my Facebook because I had some messages and then uh, it said that I was disconnected. So I went to go log back in and use my fingerprint because it has my password and everything on it. And it's just saying invalid credentials, invalid username and or password on my phone. Okay. And can you please confirm which of the device are you using the last time which you used? Yeah, I'm using my Android, my Samsung Galaxy Flip phone, that, that new one that they came out with. Okay, so not a problem, sir. Can you please tell, uh, you can do one thing. You need to put me on speakerphone and go to the Play Store. The scammer wanted me to download AnyDesk from the Play Store, an app to let him take access of my device. So now you are supposed to receive some of the security notifications from the team. Just make sure you need to go with the positive actions. Like you need to tap on allow, accept, or start broadcast, or just go with the positive actions, okay? We gave the scammer access to my computer, and Trapper managed to get into the scammer's PC. Immediately, Trapper planted a payload in the startup folder. Then he went on and stole a whole bunch of files. As you can see here, while getting all the files, Salty kept distracting the scammer. Next to the Google logo at the bottom, you can see, might be that's your camera. Just tap on that. All right. What it is? It's the camera, I believe, yeah. Uh, open your camera. Like, you want to see how beautiful it is out here in this gorgeous countryside? Tap on X. Tap on X. I got to get me another country girl. Country girls give me some good cooking. Never had some good country girl cooking? Hmm? Biscuits and gravy, deep fried chicken. It ain't nothing like got that country girl going out there and she sees some roadkill like a raccoon and come home chopped up and fry it up and put it in some stew and have some raccoon stew. Once we got everything we needed, Trapper destroyed the scammer's PC. Now, let's go over all the data we obtained and identify these criminals. First off, we managed to get several logins and credentials for their FOIP services. With this, we successfully managed to take over their phone system. If victims call this call center, me and my team will be the ones picking up the calls. My team saved thousands of victims. Here's an example call. Hello? Can I help you? Yes. Um, this is Facebook. Is this Facebook? This is not Facebook. The number that you called is not Facebook. It is actually a scam call center that our team was able to infiltrate and intercept so we're trying to get all the phone calls that are coming in to inform you guys that this is not facebook it's an actual scam call center okay. and what they're trying to do is to um act like they're facebook and try to get access to get into your phone or computer and to, to just to gain control of your machines to be able to take control of either your bank account or other accounts that you guys have so um, I believe okay. that either your password, you can't log into your Facebook or your account was hacked or something. You went to Google, did a search, and it came up with this phone number that you're just calling? Yeah. Okay. Um, unfortunately, Facebook does not have a toll-free number. They do not have a number for you to call in to get support. The only way that you can get support from Facebook is going directly to Facebook.com. Um, probably submitting an email okay. to their support team um, or they might have some online chat on their site it is not um, okay. they, unfortunately yeah, they don't have an 800 number so the number that you just called is okay is 
you're calling to a scam call center. We were able to intercept their lines and we're trying to help everyone that's calling in just to let them know this is not Facebook. Um, there okay, was a sweet. big you, data man. breach a couple months ago with Facebook. You might have been part of that breach as to why possibly you cannot log in to your account. I'm, I'm not sure what's going on, but just whether you can't log into your account or you think your account got hacked. Unfortunately, these people were not going to help you out. No other 800 number out there is going to be able to help you out. You need to reach out to the horse's mouth, which is facebook.com directly and see if they're able to assist you, unfortunately. We also managed to locate these scammers. They are located in sector 15 of Noida. I also found out who the owner is. I tried to call him on his cell phone, but he didn't pick up sadly. So I guess we'll call one of his minions instead. Thank you for calling, how may I help you? Yes, hello, I have an issue with my Facebook. What happened, sir, in your Facebook? When I tried to log in, it says my password is invalid. We're gonna connect this camera to my computer and then show him a picture of his boss and confront him. Okay, sir, did you share any kind of personal information like email, password, card with anybody? Not that I'm aware of, no. Okay, so definitely I will help you and I'll, I'll get you, okay? Oh, yeah. What device do you have, Android phone or iPhone? Android. A few moments later. Don't accept. Before I accept to security warning, I trust this call. I am aware of the risk and do not show this message warning again. Make check mark first and then hit accept. I see this it. Surprise is this treatment for any desk. Okay, leave it mouse. I am checking the switch. Okay. Sir, do you know this guy? No, sir, this is my not boss. Yes, that's your boss. And you guys are at sector 15, Noida. Right? I didn't mention boss to him, yet he says this is not my boss. Yes. No, no, sir. What are you doing? You're in sector 15 of Noida, right? You said yes. Sir, I'm not. I'm not asking you. Admit what it. What are you doing, sir? Admit it. Can you see me, sir? Can you see me? Can I see you? I think he's so scared he thinks I hacked his webcam. <laughs> sir, can you see me again? So you're not in sector 15 of Noida? No, I'm, I'm from California. Sure. I have hacked a bunch of your computers. I know exactly who you are. You guys think you can keep getting away no, with sir, this scamming? This is not my boss. You think you can keep getting away with scamming like this? We're closing in on you. No, no, sir. Yes. You guys pretend to be Facebook. Support. You guys pretend to be Facebook, but you're not. You guys are at Sector 15, Noida. Now, I'm gonna give them their full address. Third floor, that's your address you're located at right now. <laughs> and now he hangs up. After this call, I couldn't get the scammers back on the phone anymore. The CEO's cell phone is also out of service and several of their websites have been deleted. I think we managed to scare them good. Want to learn more about scams and how to prevent falling victim to them? Follow me and Trapper on Twitter. We post a lot of great advice. Please share these videos with your friends and family so they won't fall victim for these scams too. We just launched a new platform, scambait.online. For $5 a month, you get access to our Discord, where you can watch us in action, learn, and do calls with me and my team. Join us now on scambait.online. If you like what we do, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, please leave us a comment on what you think, and ideas are welcome. Thanks for watching. Also, here's a couple more great videos to watch.